stop moving. <sighs> ah, that hurts. If you didn't move, it wouldn't hurt as much. Well, if you hadn't run away, this wouldn't have happened. If you hadn't frightened me, I wouldn't have run away. Well, then you should have been in the West. Right? And you should learn to control your temper. Uh, well, I. Hold still. This may sting a little. By the way, thank you for saving my life. You're welcome. Ah, oh, well, that's more like it. I knew they could get along if they tried. So, the ice is broken. Melt it. Whatever. It's... Destroyed at last! And not a moment too soon. Have you taken a good look at the rose lately? There's so little time left. Not to mention I can hardly bend over at all anymore. Clearly, it's time for us to give them a little push or a nudge in the right direction. Hmm. Oh, I have just the thing. How about we warm you two up with a nice bowl of soup? Soup? Trust me. There's something sweet and almost kind, but he was mean. He was coarse and unrefined, but now he's dear and so unsure. I wonder why I didn't see it there before. This way, I thought I saw. When we touched, she didn't shudder at my paw. But it can't be, I'll just ignore. But then she's never looked at me that way before. But she smiles at me. I get all choked up. My heart starts pounding. And I can't breathe. Good. That's good? Yes, it's excellent. Ah, I've never felt this way about anyone. I want to give her something. But what? There are the usual things. Uh, flowers, chocolates, and promises you don't intend to keep. No, no. This is no ordinary girl. It has to be something special. Something that uh, sparks her interest. See what it is. Uh, something. Uh, uh, uh. Are you sure? Yes. Oh. Say something about the dress. Well, uh, it's yellow. Sacre bleu, a compliment. Oh, well, uh, nice dress. Thank you. I, I have to some show you. But you have to close your eyes. It's a surprise. Yes, yes. <gasps> I love it. I can't. You never learned how to read? Only a little. 
long ago. Well, it just so happens it's the perfect book to read aloud. Sit by me. There may be something there that wasn't there before. What? <laughs> there may be something there that wasn't there before. What's there, Mama? I'll tell you when you're older. Come along now. Let's give them some privacy. Hey, Mama? Yes, Chip? Will I ever be a boy again? Oh, I hope so, son. When will I not? Soon. If it is to be, it will be soon. Run along now. Knowing not that this was indeed the legendary sword called Excalibur, Arthur tried to pull it from the stone. He tried once to no avail. He tried a second time, but he could still not pull it out. Then, for the third time, Arthur uh -huh. stepped forth. That must mean he's the king! <laughs> Wait and see! Wow! I never knew books could do that. Do what? Take me away! Make me forget. Uh, for a little while. Forget? <sighs> Who and what I am. We have something in common, you know? We do? In the town where I'm from, the people think I'm odd. Really? So I know what it's like to be alone all the time and how lonely it can be. For the third time, Arthur drew forth the sword and yelled a great shout, Arthur is king! Aha! I told you so. They're still in there? Yes, and so far. He has been the perfect gentleman. Hey, Mom, I have a funny feeling inside. I don't know where it it is, but it makes me feel kind of up. That's hope, son. I've been feeling it too. When Guinevere heard that Arthur was slain, she she stole away into a coven, and no one could ever make her smile again. And that's the end. Wow. That's a beautiful story. I'd like to ask you something. Yes? A second chance. Mm -hmm. Will you join me for dinner? Ah, uh, well, that... Wait. Oh, yes! Thank you for meeting me on such short notice, Monsieur Dark. Don't usually leave the asylum this late at night. The old fellow said it'd be worth my walk. You see, I have my heart set on marrying Belle. But she needs a little persuasion. Ha! <laughs> Turn him down flat! It's like this, you see. There's a chance that I'll be thwarted and denied my honeymoon. For the pretty thing I've courted refuses to swoon. So I've come up with a murky plan to which I turn to a murky man.
the night, the night you confess your love. Uh, I don't think I can do this. You mother. There will be beautiful music, romantic candlelight provided by myself. And then, when the moment is right, how will I know when the moment is right? You feel slightly nauseous. <laughs> Why? No, you will know the moment is right because you will feel it here and you must speak from the heart. I must speak from the... Ah, I can't! You must. must! What are you afraid of, Master? Uh, nothing! Master, what, what are you afraid of? Eh? Can I share? I'm afraid that she might... She might what? Laugh at me. Somehow, my prince, you will find the courage to take that chance. Look at the rose. There is so little time left. Ah, here, this might help bolster off your courage. Ah, 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 yeah, see? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. 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 I really don't think I can do this. You can do it, Master! I know you can! You can do it.
asking me to dinner. Of course, it was wonderful. Pell, can I ask you something? Anything. Pell, are you happy here? Of course. Everyone is so kind. Mrs. Potts, Lemire. With Potts. me? Yes. I must speak from the heart. Now, is everything all right? I, I'm just thinking about my father. I miss him so much. There is a way you can see him. This magic mirror will let you see anything, anything you wish to see. I'd like to see my father. Please. Papa. Oh my gosh, Papa! He, he's in trouble! I, I have to, I... Go to him! What? Go to him. You're not my prisoner anymore. And you haven't been for a long time. No, keep it. So you'll have a way to look back and remember me. I could never forget you. Belle, I. Yes. <sighs> Go! Go! And I'll never see her again. Well, Massa, I knew you had it in you, I must just say. Everything's going so I let life. her go! You what? I had to! Ah. Hans, after all this time, he's finally learned to love. Then that should do it. That should break the spell. It's not enough. She has to love him in return. And now it's too late. Ah. No pain could be deeper. No words have been spoken.
change of heart, a change in me. Gaston, Monsieur Dark, what are you doing here? I come to collect your father. What? But my father's not crazy. He was raving like a lunatic. We all heard him, didn't we? Yeah! What? There's a beast in that castle. Come on quietly now. Tell us again, old man, just how big was the beast? Well, he was huge, maybe like eight, no, more like ten feet tall. See, it don't get much crazier than that. But it's true, I tell you. What have you started having these delusions? It's not a delusion. The beast was real, and so is the talking clock. Poor Belle. It's a shame about your father. Gaston, you know he's not crazy. I might be able to clear up this little misunderstanding if... If? If you marry me. What? Come on, Belle. One little word, and it all goes away. Never! Have it your way. Take the old man. What are you... Show me the beast. That's him! That's him! Is he dangerous? Oh no, he's not dangerous. I know he looks really frightful, but he's kind and gentle. He's my friend. If I'm not mistaken, it sounds like you have feelings for this monster. You're not the monster. He's not the monster, Gaston. You are! She's as crazy as the old man. She says this beast is her friend, but I taught the father the beast and I've seen what they can do. The beast will make off with their children. Go stop him at night. But he would never do that. Forget the old man. I say we kill the beast. Yeah! He's dead. Who can stop us at night? Say to sacrifice our children to his monstrous appetite. He'll wreak havoc on our village if we let him want to free. So it's time to take some action, boys. It's time. Remember the beast. 
Where's everyone else? Ah, oh, the bed! Speak of the devil! <laughs> you look so much better! Better? I, I thought you liked the way I looked before. I mean, I did, but I like you better this way. So you were lying to me? No, I wasn't. Yes, you were. No. Oh, Lumiere, I like you better this way, oh, too. No, 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 no. <laughs> May I say, you simply vanish it. Thank you. Do you like the gown or what? The night I performed at the Royal Opera, the king himself was there. Your gown is magnificent, and you were magnificent that night. Oh, Clark. <laughs>
production. You go first. <laughs> Which is me.